Hi, Mark. How's everyone doing today? I didn't start the fire. So there's good news and then there's good news. We're closing in on about 600 subscriptions. Thank you guys for supporting this show, which you believe in so much. And to the enemies of this show, I will say, we shall give no quarter. You've come to the wrong shop for anarchy, brother. The first step to writing is to write. But seriously, you guys' support is humbling. I'm not gonna take your support for granted. But yeah, to the haters, they hate us because they ain't us. I mean, you know it's true because it rhymes. They evict us because they picked us. The more you know, the more you grow. Bring your A game or take the lame train. How much sump could a sump pump pump if a sump pump? If you don't stand for nothing, get the two for one McMuffin. But seriously, go get one. And... Oh boy. I wonder if those infomercial guys ever like makes Thanksgiving dinner for their family and friends and stuff and they're like passing things out on the big old table and whatever and everyone's like, you know, eating and chowing down on everything and they've got like a bowl of carrots, the guy that's the infomercial guy and then the people are like, oh man, you made a lot of good stuff. There's like potatoes and turnips and whatever and they're like, yeah, but wait, there's more. I want to be an infomercial Guy. And so something's recently come across my desk and I was actually just kind of wondering uh, if I could get you guys take on it So apparently when you combine any three movements in a repetitive or semi-repetitive fashion It constitutes a dance now. I think technically it doesn't have to include the head But because you're doing three separate movements it often does it's just statistically likely to include the head I don't know guys does this constitute a dance? <laughs> What about this? She's a bad or like... I think one reason this hypothesis could be falsified is because I think there are things you can do that are only two movements that constitute a dance. I guess it begs the question, what's the minimum of movement that can occur where it's still a dance? This may be too much for today. We may have to revisit this. And... Alright, we're all adults here. Let's talk about some grown-up stuff. <laughs> I was just looking through the uh, Financial Times here, and apparently food commodities are fluctuating quite a bit. Actually, it seems that uh, liverwurst futures are sharply on the decline. That's obviously disconcerting because... Wait a second. Is that the sound I think it is? I think it is the sound I think it is. It definitely is. It's pressed in with real-time coverage of events as they're currently transpiring. All right, I think, yeah, I think we got your signal. Can you hear me? All right, all right. So what's going on? So I was just thinking, you know how those people talk about other people that go to Starbucks and spend $5 on a drink? Well, those are the same exact people that will go to a bar every day and spend six dollars on a beer. So, I don't quite understand why they get to say that to the Starbucks goers when they're spending just as much or more on alcohol every day. Uh, I don't know, you know, just a thought. And? I'm gonna tell you about a little show called Sliders. Most people are familiar with the Sci-Fi Channel as it currently is, but in the old days, you know, it was quite a bit, um... It wasn't as flashy and cool as it is now. Like in the early days of the Sci-Fi Channel, the only people that really watched it were those people that made like Warhammer models that they got the big magnifying glass and painted under there and they knew all the rules. Or they like played Dungeons and Dragons in their mom's basement, you know. Pretty geeky people. And hey, I'm not hating on any of those things. I, well maybe just a little bit. No, but seriously, I'm not very much. So anyway, they made this show called Sliders and uh, you know, it was really pretty great. Sliders isn't a more famous show than it is mainly because they kind of had a low budget and some of the writing, not all of it, actually quite a lot of it, not really, but a lot of the writing 
is really kind of bad. The premise of the show Sliders was basically this kid, actually not this kid, this college student, built this thing in his mom's basement, see, mom's basement thing came back, that could uh, allow him to travel between parallel universes. So there'd be like these universes where he was never born that he would travel to and nobody knew him. Or there'd be these universes where, like, the communists took over America. I mean, really, it was like, from a writing perspective, they could go anywhere with it, and it was pretty interesting. And through the course of the first couple of episodes, they basically pick up a couple more people that go on this big journey with them, kind of involuntarily. And it's fun at first, but then eventually he's just wanting to go home, so it takes on this semi-dramatic thing. Even through the, like, semi-cheesy effects and stuff they had to do because of the low budget. You know, it was really, it was pretty decent. Now, among the cast of characters, there's this guy who was a college professor um, named Maximilian Arturo, who was played by none other than John Rhys Davies. John Rhys Davies actually is kind of like, uh, he's got a special little place in my heart. John Rhys Davies played Sala in um, the first and third Indiana Jones movies. Asps. Very dangerous. First. And he played Gimli in Lord of the Rings. That still only counts as one! But basically, he had these real disagreements with the scriptwriters, who were, of course, not really your A-list guys, because this wasn't a high-paying gig. And, like, they'd come to him with this idea for a story, and it would literally have something that's scientifically impossible in it, which, you know, would be okay on most shows, but this is... This is the early sci-fi channel, so you can't do that. He kind of really wanted to quit the show, and they killed him off in the early second season or late first season or something like that, and Sliders sucked ever since. It was kind of a significant part of my childhood, so I'm bringing it to you. And... So anyway, that's the vlog for today. Yeah, I made this one a little shorter, a little punchier, a little more bounce to the ounce. I think I'll end with a question. So what's your favorite dance? Huh? Huh? Tell me in the comments. Like and subscribe if you want to be part of my tribe. Also, my uh, friend Preston's actually a personal fitness coach and he's really incredible. If you're uh, looking to get your act together, he's kind of a good guy for that. We're gonna put his email down in the, uh, the boxy box. Just a working on my fitness, he's my witness. So good night, good luck, Simon says, word to your mother. And like your mama always says, don't, don't call, call it a comeback. Don't, don't call, call it a comeback. Don't call